Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Arch Linux in VirtualBox step by step. If you're new to Linux or just want to experiment with Arch in a virtual environment, this guide is for you. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have VirtualBox installed on your system. Also, you'll need the Arch Linux ISO file, which you can grab from the official Arch Linux website. Open VirtualBox and click on New to create a new virtual machine. Give it a name like Arch Linux and for the type, select Linux. For the version, choose Arch Linux 64-bit. Also in ISO image browse to the Arch ISO, you downloaded and select it. Also make sure virtualization is enabled in your BIOS, otherwise the virtual machine will not work. Now allocate some RAM. I recommend at least two gigabytes for a smooth experience, but you can adjust this based on your system's resources. Create a virtual hard disk now. Set the size to at least 20 gigabytes, but feel free to go higher if you have the space. If you want to make changes, just click on settings. Start your virtual machine and you'll see the Arch Linux boot menu. Select Boot Arch Linux and press Enter. In a few seconds, you'll be in the Arch Linux terminal. To install Arch, we need an internet connection. So make sure your host machine is connected to the internet. Run this command to synchronize the package databases and refresh the list of available packages from the repositories. Next, run this command to install or update the Arch Linux keyring package. This package contains the GPG keys used by Arch Linux to verify the authenticity and integrity of packages from the official repositories. Now run this command. The arch install command is a guided interactive script that simplifies the process of installing Arch Linux. It is designed to make Arch Linux more accessible, especially for users who may find the traditional manual installation process intimidating or time consuming. Instead of manually partitioning disks, configuring the network and installing packages, Step-by-step, step, Arch Install walks you through the process with a series of prompts and menus. Choose your language. English is the default. You can select a mirror. Close to your location, I will just leave the default ones myself. You can change keyboard settings from here.
You can also change the host name if you want. Create a password for the root account. Choose a desktop environment from profiles. If you have an old computer, go for one like XFCE. Use the space bar to select the one you want. Next, select graphic drivers. Since you are using VirtualBox, select the one for VMware Stroke VirtualBox. If you desire a web browser, you can choose Firefox or Chromium. Select the network manager. Add additional repositories from here. I forgot to configure the disk. We can now begin the installation. Also, do not forget to add uh, a user account where it says user account. I will create one later myself. We'll log in using the root account. After the installation is complete, it will ask you to croot into a newly created installation for post-installation configuration, but we don't need that, so select no to complete the installation. Finally, you should see the terminal window again. Type in shut down now. Before starting the virtual machine with Arch installed, you need to do one more thing. Remove the ISO disk selected as the optical drive. As I said earlier, you should create a user account during the initial configuration. I did not do that. So we'll log in using the root account. That's it. You are done installing Arch Linux on VirtualBox. Run this command to update the system. One last thing, install the guest edition virtual box. Guest editions is a set of software tools and drivers that enhance the performance and usability of a guest operating system. 
running inside VirtualBox. It provides additional features and better integration between the host OS, the system running VirtualBox, and the guest OS, the virtual machine. Copy everything and paste it into the Documents folder. Guest editions are now installed and you can now work in full screen mode. And that's it. You now have a fresh Arch Linux installation running in VirtualBox. I guess from here, you can install A and set up your favorite apps and customize it to your liking. If this guide helped, give this video a, a thumbs up of subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy arching.